Hey guys, so today I have a fall get ready with me. I'm doing my skincare, makeup, and also my hair, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I like to do is just pull up my hair and get it out of the way, and then I'm going to wash my face. And to do that, I'm using the Waterproof Facial Cleaning Massager from Dermaberry. And I'm actually gonna be using the small brush, and this is perfect for exfoliation, and it's gentle enough to use every day. And with this, I'm using the Kiehl's Cucumber Herbal Conditioning Cleanser, and I've been using this for about a month now, and I really, really like it. But the Facial Cleaning Massager also comes with this face sponge, which is a cosmetic soft sponge. Also this big brush, which you can use on your hand and your body, just use it in circular motions. And last, it comes with this pumice stone. But I'm gonna switch back to the small brush and use my facial cleanser. And I also have a 20% off coupon code for you guys, so just use Sarah20 if you're interested in purchasing this waterproof facial cleaning massager. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse off my facial cleanser. And this feels so good. I love doing my makeup, starting with a clean face. So once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna head to my bedroom and start on my makeup. I actually really love this tinted moisturizer from Origins. It just kind of takes out the redness on my face. After that, I'm gonna use a primer. I've been using one from Decladerm lately. And then I like using a lip balm before I apply my makeup. So I'll let that kind of just sit on my lips as I do my foundation and my face but I've been using this Ultra HD foundation from Makeup Forever. And then a favorite concealer of mine lately has been the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline, and I'll just use that with a sponge, followed by some mineral foundation. I actually just love using this as a powder, um, but yeah, I've also used that just as my foundation as well without using a liquid foundation. But after my setting powder, I like to use a high definition under eye setting powder from e.l.f. and I really, really love that powder. I think it works really well. And of course, I'm using some Too Faced products here. I'm just gonna contour a little bit. I like to contour my cheekbones and my nose, and I'll use just a tiny, tiny highlight on the tip of my nose. I just think that looks cute. Um, and then I have the Pop It Don't Peach blush, followed by the Mist and Fix setting spray, and this is a go-to especially if your face gets a little bit oilier, oilier throughout the day, I highly recommend that setting spray. And then I'm just like to follow everything with my eyebrows. And I actually have been doing my brows kind of a little too bold for my liking, so I'm learning to like tone it down. I actually might grab like a lighter shade of that brow gel, but anywho, moving on. <laughs> Lately I've been sticking to the primer potion from Urban Decay, and I love the heat palette from Urban Decay, but today I'm using the Naked 2 for a more subtle look. I'm using Foxy all over, Booty Call for the inner corner, and also my brow bone. Then I'm gonna grab Chopper, which is my favorite shade in that palette, and that's gonna go in my crease and also my outer corners, and then Tease is going to go onto an eyeliner brush. I'm gonna use that for my bottom lash line, just the outer corner. But if you guys would like to see a more vampy fall look, let me know because I'd really like to film that soon and just do like a darker, grungier look. So next I'm just going to use some eyeliner and I'm just gonna focus on my top lash line. And this is where I notice my lampshade is like a little bit crooked, whatever. Moving on again, I'm using the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. I'm using this on my top and bottom lashes. I really have been loving this mascara. This is just a little sample size, but again, I wanna get I wanna get the full size version because I really like that. Next, I'm using Fuel from Urban Decay, and this is like a subtle peach nude shade, which I really, really like. So this is it for my makeup, and I noticed Stevie's right behind me. Um, I'm just gonna move on to my hair now, and this is gonna take like no time to do. Look at my hair, it's just kind of wild. I, oh my gosh, I kind of look like the chick from The Grudge. Like, check this out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start by brushing my hair out, and I've been loving this Miracle Oil. It's a penetrating oil. It's like a really nice smelling serum from OGX. I love using this to style my hair, like before and after styling. Hey, there's Stevie again. Um, <laughs> and then I'm just going to use my flat iron to create some curls just on the bottom ends of my hair because this is like the fastest, speediest way I like to do my hair, especially when I'm lazy, kind of like today. I just want to do the ends of my hair just to make it look nice and smooth and pretty, and that's it. And yeah, this is just really, really quick. And then I like to go through my bangs as well because my bangs tend to get a little frizzy, so... Wow, there's a lot of heat. There's a lot of just smoke radiating here. Um, <laughs> but I'll just like curl my bangs just slightly just to go down a little bit better. Um, and then of course grab some hairspray and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys like this subtle fall look. Again, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I put out new videos all the time and let me know if you'd like to see a darker, vampier look because I want to film that soon. But I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!